One of the most common questions I get from my patients is why we don't have a herpes vaccine. Hi, this is Dr. Arani. I will explain the basic reason. Herpes is one of the oldest virus living the human body by evolution. It adopted and leave it body and body does not recognize it as an enemy. So it goes undetectable and we won't fight against it. And that is why many vaccine attempt in the past for herpes has failed. And that's the basic reason. In other words, body think it's a safe roommate and you won't fight it off. They are researching on two types of vaccine. One is therapeutic vaccine, is for patients who already have been infected with herpes. And the other one is prophylactic vaccine, it's for the healthy people to get the vaccine in order to not to get infected with herpes. Currently, Moderna, you might know the company, uh, created the first COVID vaccine using mRNA. They are doing it now with herpes. They call it mRNA-1608. Is a therapeutic vaccine against herpes type 2, but might have effect on herpes type 1 on clinical trial st stage 1 and 2. So it expect that clinical trial to be finished by 2024. They say stage 1 and 2 because the stage 1 is for safety and making sure the vaccine does not create unwanted outcome. And stage 2 is uh, they check if the vaccine is going to work or not. So we will find out by next year. The other pharmaceutical company called GSK create functional cure recombinant protein vaccine currently in a stage one and two combined as well, but that will finish in 2025, two years from today that we will find out. As far as medicine, we have many medicines out there. I personally like the good quality Zovirax for most of my patients. And the medicine I will talk about is Pertilivir, which is helicase promise inhibitor antiviral and getting it studied in a stage three. So it's close to get commercialized, uh, being available uh, soon. Currently getting tested on in immunocompromised patient, which probably other antiviral or antiherpes, they don't work on them. And the last approach that I will discuss about that is uh, futuristic. And uh, I'm excited about that and it's called Cure by Gene Editing. And, and I will explain to you as we know herpes type 1 is staying based of the neck and herpes type 2 lives in base of the spine in lower back. So researchers try to edit the gene in sensory ganglion by gene therapy on those cells infected by herpes, make it herpes free. In mice, showed 97% of virus removal, but in 30% uh, in peak. They are currently working to improve the technology before starting the human clinical trial.